So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and I'm bringing to you guys an update to the Utopia deck, or the Onomatopoeia deck, whichever you want to call it. Um, because the Onomatopoeia got some really good support in the forms as you can see in your Xyz monster, some um, main deck monsters as well, and some spells. Like, literally, they got pretty much everything, I think, besides the trap card. Um, so, I'm going to run through the deck, how it's changed. And even address a ruling which I believe I got wrong in my first profile of this deck um, when Utopic got um, first released. Um, I just did a quick little look online and this is what I found uh, which makes sense and this is also what I've been seeing done by the OCG players so it must be true. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get here. You, this is my ideal mindset was to build this post Master Wolf 5 because I feel like that's when it's its most at its most peak. But you can play this current in this current format. Like you can play in this current wall state. Um it just means you know you only hang out one boss mods on the field at, at one time. But to be honest, the deck can play around that and can play with that. So um just keep that in mind when you're building this deck. You this gets better in MR5, but it can be played in current play. So Starting off with the monsters, we have three copies of Utopic Onomatopoeia. Counts as all the um, cards except Archer Chat Archer, because uh, that got nothing. Um, so during your main phase, you can special summon up to one Zubaba, Gaga, Gaga, Go, 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 and or Dodo. -do. Monsters, monsters from your hand in the first position. Also, you can also special summon monsters from the extract for a except XT's monsters. You can use this effect of your topic once per turn. So the ruling that I had to look up was basically uh, mostly with regards to um, onomatopoeia. Um, can I search either two of this uh, or one of this and something else? Considering it says it always counts, me and Dale discussed this and we thought, considering the way it's worded, it says it always counts as this, it means that because it's always as that, I can't search another thing because then. Um, you could say I'm searching two like go go goes, uh, for example. But according to um, Yu-Gi-Oh!pedia, um, the warning for this guy is that because he always counts as them, you're searching different things at the same time. So you can basically search two of this through Onomatopoeia. That's what the warning says. And from what I've been seeing OCG players and OCG duelists do, is that they are searching two of this or one of this and something else. So from what I understand is you can. So if you're playing with that, go you can go by that. I, I advise go just go by that because then that's what I'm seeing. This is what I've read. That you can search two of them. So which is good. Because it'd be stupid if you can only search one of them. Um it would make literally no sense. So starting off with uh, one of the brand new cars, which is three copies of Zubaba Bancho Gaga Ga Coat. So he is an Earth level four warrior with 1800 attack, 100 defense. If you control a Zubaba uh, or Gaga Ga monster, except um, Gaga Ga Coat, while this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card. You can target one go 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 or do 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 monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Also, you can also special summon monsters from the extra for rest of the turn, except exceeds monsters. You can use each effect of Zubaba ba Bancho go 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 coat once per turn. So you can see what this guy's aimed for. He's aimed for swarming onto the board. Tree being treated as all of them means there's a maximum amount of consistency, and you can just basically get more monsters on the board. You can see why I'm once I come to the extra, I have no link monsters because. These all of these cards lock you into Xyz monsters, so there's no even no point in playing something like um, is old for searching because you're just gonna lock yourself out from doing anything. So um, I'm just going full on Xyz, just doing what I can. Um, next we have another of the new monsters, which is Dodo -do 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 Dwarf 
Go 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 Glove, um, which is an Earth level 4 rock monster with 0 attack, 1800 defense. During the main phase, you can special summon one Zubababa or Gaga Ga monster from your hand. If you control a Go 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 or Dodo Do monster while except Dwarf um, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it and leaves the field. You can use each effect of Go 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 Glove once per turn. So again, just like his Zubaba Kana part, he just essentially helps you with swarming and just getting more monsters onto the board, which is really good. And being a rock means you can search it with one of the cool cards in the extra deck. So going on for the old cards, I'm still playing one Go 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 Giant, uh, just because he just revives a Go 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 monster. So he's just a really good strong normal summon. You can revive a Go Go Go, make an next season. And then if you have other cards in your hand like Zubamava, um, you can then you know get more special summons on the board. I'm still playing also also to Da 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 Witch. I just do like the fact that it's just a normal summon, special summon. Um, it's just very, very handy. And one Da 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 Buster. Again, I just like how it's just kind of like a cyber dragon in the deck. You special summon it and it comes out as a level 4. But one of the new additions that I didn't play in my previous one, I believe, is the Gaga Guards. I'm actually playing the Gaga Guard engine, which is three copies of Gaga Guard Sister. So Gaga Guard Sister is a level 2. Dark Spellcaster effect monster, and when this guy is normal summoned, you can add one Gaga Gar spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can target one other Gaga Gar monster you control. The levels of that monster and this become their combined current levels to the end of this turn. You can use this effect of Gaga Gar sister once per turn. So it's kind of like a Stratos for your uh, Gaga Gar spells and traps, which we do play one of them, um, I believe. Uh, so it just helps you get to those cards, um, that card, and just you know get off some plays. Um, I just do like it in the deck. It's just a nice little card to play. I might bump up my Gaga spells just because to give it more um, targets, or just reduce one of these. You know, take one of them out and add in something else. But um, at the moment, I'm just you know like playing it around, just to see how it goes. Uh, then we have two copies of Gaga Ga Child. So Gaga Ga Child is another level two spellcaster effect. If you try a Gaga Ga monster other than Gaga Ga Child, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, you can target one Gaga Ga monster you control with a different level than this card, and this card's level becomes the level of that monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase to turn you activate this effect. I'm not too happy with the not being able to conduct your battle phase. I mean, it's good going turn one, but considering your, one of your main plays is to go into like a Utopia double for game, um, this kind of like locks you out of doing so. So I may again mess around with the Gaga Girls. I'm not like I like the Gaga Girl cards and like what they can do, but I'm not too fond of them as well. I may take out the Childs and drop the sister down and just go with, like the two sisters and one clerk. So Clerk is uh, another level 2, and if you draw a Gaga monster other than Gaga Clerk, special summon this card from your hand. So I do like how she's just like a simple summon. So I may reduce, like, take out the two childs and one of the sisters and just keep two sisters and a Clerk. Um, and then add a different engine to the deck or just bump up the others I have. Um, it's just more playtesting to do. And then I play four um, one ofs that aren't on a matter pair related, which is one copy of Perform Mage Hat Trigger, one Gigabyte, one Inari Fire, and one Nefarious Archfiend. I do like these cards just because Hat Trigger, if you control two monsters, you can special summon it. It's just as simple as that. It just gets you more bodies on the board. Um, and I just like these cards just because as long as you control a spell cast, you can just freely special summon them. And you consider you're playing the Gaga monsters and Hat Trigger now. Um, you're pretty much going to have a spell cast on the board majority of the time, so you can resolve these cards and just get free summons on the board, which is really, really cool. So that's it for the monsters. Moving on to the spell, starting off with the brand new spell, which is three copies of Honor Matter Pickup, which is a continuous spell. It is when this card is activated, you can add one Honor Matter card from your deck to your hand, except Honor Matter Pickup. You can target one Zubaba, Gaga, Gogo, or Dododo monster you control. All monsters you can't you control become that monster's level until the end of this turn. Even if this card is to fill, you can use this effect of Onomatic Pickup once per turn. You can only activate one Onomatic Pickup per turn. A really cool card. Something that this deck did really need just to you know make all of your monsters level 4s, which is just what you want to do. They already Onomatos swarm very easily. 
um, but we're considering the levels range from everywhere. Um, I mean, it gave Yuya a light versatile um, versatility in considering what he wants to summon, but in this we just want to summon level 4, so just having being able to have this search and then change everything to level 4, pretty much, this is very, very, very handy. And being able to search your Onomata pair is just really, really good. You know, you can add, play this, search one of each, um, ga 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 da da um, Ga Zubaba, Ga 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 Go 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 and Do Do Do. You can't add two of the same. Um, but as I said with the warnings, considering um, with Utopic Onomatopoeia, you can add two Utopic Onomatopoeia or Utopia and something else. Um, one Rota, you know, assuming you have a lot of warriors in the deck. I dropped XC's change tactics to two. It's excited to make room for the new support and still having two XC chain taxes is perfectly fine. Being able to get off two draws every time you make a Utopia summon. Two copies of Do 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 Draw. Um, if you like the Gaga engine, you could probably swap one of these out for a Gaga Ga Draw, but unfortunately, I don't have any of those, um, which is very bizarre. Um, I thought I at least picked up one of those, but unfortunately, I did not. But I prefer Do 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 Draw just because we have a lot more Do 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 cards. Just being able to discard and draw two, I think, is better than banish three Gaga Gaga's draw two. Uh, so I think this is, per my personal opinion, I believe this is better. I'm taking one copy of Future Drive. This car is really, really cool. I may bump it up to two. Um, I just don't like the idea of um, dead drawing a whole bunch of cards I can't use. But this card is just absolutely phenomenal. I do really like this card. So it is a quick play spell. It's a new card, by the way. Target one Utopic Future Exceeds Monster you control. Apply the following effects to that monster you control for the rest of the turn. It can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. If it battles an opponent's monster, that opponent that monster's effects are negated during the damage step only. Each time it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. You can only activate one future drive per turn. This card is really cool. Comes very well with your number F0, just being able to steal all of your opponent's monsters this is absolutely crazy and just helps you essentially just get over boards just by itself playing one copy of gaga Ga, um I feel like gaga Ga back or gaga revenge this is a foreign copy um but essentially i think you revive a gaga Ga, gains 800 attack and then you equip it to it and i think if it is useful for an overlay unit that monster gets an attack puff as well you're mostly just using it basically just to revive a gaga Ga, Ga. One copy of Monster Boar and two copies of Double or Nothing. So in this Utopia deck, this isn't really essentially a brick um, or dead draw just because you can just like hard make Utopia and just swing in for like 2-5 negate and then swing in again for two uh, for 5k. So this is for that. And I'm putting one copy of Halfway to Forever. So this is a normal trap card which you can target two monsters in your graveyard special summon both but they have their effects negated if any and if you do immediately after this effect resolves it exceeds some one light utopia or utopic xc's using only those two monsters so you can target your xc's and go to your utopic or just any two level four and go into your, 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 your utopia so that's it for the main deck moving on to the extra deck we have two copies of Gaga 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 Ga, Magician. <laughs> I'll probably use too many Gaga Gaga for that. But this is a rank for Spellcaster Exceeds with 2000 attack and defense. Takes two level 4 monsters. You can detach one material from this card, then target one Exceeds monster in your graveyard, except Gaga 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 Ga, Ga, Magician. Special Summon, but negate its effects. You can use this effect of Magician once per turn. A utopic future exceeds monster that has this card as material gains this effect. During your main phase, you can detach two materials from this card, then target one exceeds monster you control until the end of this turn, change its attack to 4000, but negate its effects. It's really cool. You can see how future drive allows you to do the um, burn damage for your, with your utopic um, because you can use this, and if you need to, you can just like make the utopic 4k and just swing in for some damage and um, burn as well but this is a really good card essentially it allows this deck to play in MR4 because then you can just make your first exceed and when that goes to go you can just make this revive that exceed to go to your topic so you could essentially just like change this extra to just a, like a utopic 
on a Meta Pair extra deck and just like go with like more copies of Utopic. So which in fact I'm playing one of. Um, I just like the one of it, so I don't want to like have too many of it because I'm more Utopia focused. Um, but I do like to have the one copy of Utopia, obviously, for stealing the opponent's boards and just help getting over problem like monsters. Uh, considering with the numbers we're playing and your Utopias, you're playing one number 93 Utopia Kaiser. Uh, I may take this out until like MR5 starts, but the Byron's keeping it in there. Um, it becomes a lot better in MR5. Three copies of the U number Utopia, your main main boss monster, and your main main focus. Two copies of number Utopia Double. I don't want to have three of it just because in this build I've got other options to go for, like again the Utopic um, play. So I'm just playing two of it just so that if one gets stopped, I have another one. Uh, one, the Lightning. Now you could bump more Lightnings if you want to. I may bump a second Lightning and take out the Kaiser until again MR5 starts. But I'm playing the one uh, Utopia Ray just because again it's Utopia Ray. It's just an easy one to go into to get more draws of your. Um, spell card one beyond the hope your utopia beyond uh, again it's just a really good card to go into and I'm playing three non like utopia gaga monsters which includes um, one one oh one just you know it's a good generic XDs to go into just to snatch your opponent's monsters one babuska just for the additional stalling and one really good card which I advise you guys to get is Galliant Granite so this is a rank 4 exceeds, takes 2 level 4 monsters, you can detach 1 material from this card, then activate one of these effects, add 1 mock monster from your deck to your hand, special summon 1 mock monster from your hand in face down defense position. You can use this effect of Galliant Grant once per turn. So this is one you're going to go into pretty much every game turn 1, because then you can just use this, detach, and search your go 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 glove. So you use a rock monster, or if you have one in circulation, you can search your go 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 giant. Just get more cards in your hand for your next turn, and you can go into your ga 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 ga, -ga magician. Revive this, go into your topic, and just start, you know, getting rid of your opponent's um, board. But that, guys, is the deck. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, leave your comments down below what you think of this board. I really like it. I think this is one of my... Um, it's like my second favourite from the Zexal um, series, obviously Galaxy Eyes being my favourite, but this is a really good strong second favourite for mine, it's just really good now, the support is absolutely amazing for it, and I'm really happy that they brought all this support out for it. So, again, as always, like, comment and subscribe, until next time, as always, happy dueling.